All right, so I'm having transmission problems here, and I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, 2004 Silverado, you can see the mileage right there. Um, I'm going to start driving, and I just want you to listen. Okay. So, there. All right, so I'm pulling up to a stop sign right now. I'm at a dead stop, and I'm waiting uh, for traffic here. And uh, as soon as traffic passes. Um, as you can see, there's no codes. Uh, there was a check engine light earlier. It erased. Um, all right, so I'm going to start driving. Um, I mean, it, to me, it feels like first. Uh, you can just feel it shift in the second. Um, there's a hesitation and shift in the third. And it, it, it looks like it, it felt like it just shifted, but then it came right back out. So I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Um, now I, I can manually shift down and see how that works. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything. Um, I'm gonna turn real quick. Again, I mean, now that it's uh, just sitting there, it's hanging out, it's doing its thing. Um, I'm on a back road, so I can't speed up here. And I, I couldn't just gun it because there was cop in front of me, so that wouldn't have been smart me, would it? Um, all right, so again, back at zero, make a left turn here. All right. All right, I'm, I'm going to try to gun it this time. Oh, well, never mind. There's another freaking stop plan. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Shifts. So now I should be in second gear. And it just shifted into third. But as you can see, it's got a really high rev. Uh, I mean, that was at like 2,500 RPMs, and it should have shifted down to about, I don't know, 18, 1900. Um, now, what happens is if I can get up to speed and it does shift into third, um, it will be roughly about, uh, I can get up to about 50 miles an hour, but it takes me up to about 4,000 4, RPMs. So definitely not safe. Um, I'm just wondering if y'all have any ideas of what could be going on. Uh, I've read some stuff about solenoids being bad, um, which I, I briefly understand how to change that. I'm not worried about that. Not a big deal. Um, the other thing that I read about was some fuses. And that's what I would like to invest my time into seeing if it is. So, excuse me, I'm just parking here. All right. Got to park on the side of the damn road. Um, so, yeah. I'm wondering if y'all think it's fuses. Or uh, could it be any kind of, um, I don't know. Uh, I've read limp mode. Um, does anyone know about limp mode? Is there a way to reset it? I, I saw something that said you gotta, um, what do you call it, uh, cycle the engine, and but I've, I've heard it a few times, I've heard people say on the side here, you just gotta, you know, flip it on and off five or six times, I did that, nothing happened, um, someone else said you gotta, you gotta stop the truck and turn it back on uh, six times, so I did that, nothing happened, I mean, again, you can see, it's not throwing any codes, okay, now I threw codes earlier today, but it's gone, so, and I've, I've been having codes thrown uh, about a month ago, but it had to do with uh, electrical, like spark related. So, I'm sorry. So, yeah, it had to do with the spark in the engine. Um, it, the plugs are just fouled out. So, uh, yeah, um, essentially the truck sat for like a, a month straight. Um, 
I started it, well, maybe close to two months, actually. Yeah, close to two months straight, actually, uh, with some intermittent driving in, in between. Um, I started it. It drove like shit, so I checked the transmission fluid, and it seemed bone dry. So I just started pouring transmission fluid into it to get it back up to level. Um, I mean, so the transmission fluid is up to par now. Uh, I, I'm guessing since it was sitting on a hill, it just leaked out or something. So maybe I got a small leak here. Uh, I mean, it's set for two months, so that's a lot of time for a leak to, to do what it needs to do. Um, so, yeah, if you got questions, please post below. But uh, if you got answers, please let me know. So, uh, again, there's the mileage. Um, yeah. Yep. I mean, I, I don't know which, what more y'all need. Um so I'm, I'm wondering if it could be the solenoids. Um, if there's a fuse that I could look at replacing, if there is, could you please tell me? Uh, and if you just think it's complete transmission failure, let me know. Uh, but that, that is a last resort, and I really don't want to go there because that's thousands of dollars. Thank you.